Hey guys, Cameron Blagan here coming to you with a video on headless mode. Um, now that does not mean you're running around with your head cut off. Uh, that is a mode you can use on these UDIRC drones and many other drones. On this drone and many other drones. Uh, it's really a great feature if you know how to use it. Uh, it is a little bit confusing at times, especially if you don't know exactly what it does. So headless mode uh, effectively makes it easier to fly and it does that uh, by changing how it flies. So uh, for right now, we're going to say, you're going to be looking from my perspective, uh, and we're going to say that this is the front, because it is, because it has the camera. So we're going to put this little sticky note right here pointing towards the front just to further uh, indicate the front, right? So when you're flying, and let's pretend that it's facing away from you just like it is for me, if you hit the forward on the right stick, it's going to move forward away from you, right? And if you move back, it's going to move back towards you. Same with left and right. Now, what headless mode does is it makes it easier to fly, and it takes the sticky note, and it suspends it. So it doesn't actually, obviously. What it is doing is making it uh, so that the front of the drone is always facing away from you. So again, the sticky note is facing away from me. So it's always staying there no matter how the drone spins. So let's spin it to there. Let's pretend I spun it this far. Now the front is still right where that sticky note is. So if I hit forward, it's going to go forward. If I go left, it's going to go left. Same with right and backwards. Now if I were to do that without headless mode and I were to do it uh, just in normal mode, if I hit forward, now it's going this way. Which if you're a new beginner, when you hit forward, if it goes back into the left, that's a confusing concept. But if you're... Um, a beginner or you just want to fly an easier way you can use headless mode um, to effectively remove that barrier of how it flies uh, different directions and it flies just that way I've also used headless mode uh, for some more professional looking shots with my drone uh, for example you can spin this baby completely around and then instead of having to fly all the controls backwards you can then fly forwards just like you normally would and it can follow a subject especially with the fancy little tilting camera here uh, makes it really nice uh, to follow a subject uh, at even really high speeds so uh, that's a really cool feature this headless mode thing is um, and um, again just to kind of wrap your mind around it when you press the button what it does is it takes this sticky note and it just floats it in the air so no matter where you turn we'll pick another random direction we'll say this way then this is still forward left and right um, so you could spin this thing a bunch kind of like musical drones here, stick it on, still the front. Now, I do have to warn you, if you spin it too much, uh, it could uh, kind of confuse the gyro, so you don't want to go crazy with it, uh, but it is getting better and better with each new model, so it works really well uh, in this drone, especially the Blue Jay uh, here from UDIRC Force One RC. You also want to be careful to not move. It's based off of uh, where it was oriented, which is where you took off. So if you took off here and then you walk away, to over here, see where my arms kind of are. Now this is still forward, but to me it's kind of diagonal. So uh, you're really going to want to be careful uh, with that to not move once you hit headless mode. And then again, you press that button and it will turn it off. So that's another fair warning. If you're going this way um, and this is the front, when in headless mode, when in reality this is the front, um, and again blue propellers indicate that well too. Then this, if you hit, if you turn off that headless mode and you're going forward, then it will suddenly start coming towards you. So you want to be careful. If you're going to turn it off headless mode, either come land it or turn it back around and orient it correctly, uh, completely correctly like this, and then turn it off. If you turn it off and turn it on too many times with it uh, incorrectly oriented, it can get a little confused uh, with good reason. You would be confused too if someone kept changing your direction. So um, those are my the general explanation and the safety warnings. Let's take it outside um, and show you how it works in the air. Alright, so we're outside now with the Blue Jay. Uh, we're going to check out how headless mode works in reality. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set this down here and then we're going to go ahead and take off. Okay, so you can see when I move backwards, uh, this moves backwards uh, and forwards, it moves forwards. Uh, now, and again, left, left, and right, right. Now, if I don't have headless mode on, I'm going to go ahead and spin this and you can see I'm pressing right and it's coming towards me and left and it's going away from me and forward it's going right backwards it's going left and so that gets extremely confusing uh, especially if you are a new flyer so what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to bring it back here we're going to orient it correctly to ourselves 
and then we're going to go ahead and just press that headless mode button. No matter which direction I spin it, it's always headed away from me. Which, and in whichever direction I spin it coming back, it's always coming towards me. Uh, so you can see it's a little windy day here. But you can see whichever direction I spin it, it's always going. I'm pushing towards me right now while it's spinning. And now I'm pushing away from me, and it's still spinning, but going the same direction. Uh, so you can see it really uh, controls well in headless mode, uh, and that is because of how it moves. And so, again, that's a great example of how uh, headless mode can help you to fly, because it will change that front to whichever direction uh, is away from you, rather than whichever direction is actually the front. So if you're looking to have a great a beginner drone experience, uh, get one of these drones, and headless mode is the way to go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in another video.